Recently we featured a big tournament in Gloucester which was a showcase for players from six of the eight disability classifications including wheelchair players and amputees. Now in just a year the number of entrants to these events has more than doubled as access grows and word spreads about the opportunities to compete. And last month another competition took place at Tradewell Snooker Centre in Hull for players with visual or hearing disabilities. We're reaching out to all sorts of organisations that provide support and help for people with disabilities. And we, what we want is for them to, to help us to find people who want to play this great sport. And we have coaches that will help them and get them involved in the game. I myself have a, a sort of tunnelled vision, so every shot I play is generally into a, a blind pocket. So I have to try and, try and um, play as best I can, try and aim a cut up as best I can. Players with different eye conditions, so obviously they'll have, they'll have different impairments and different things that they have to judge. And so it's just a challenge for us to all to use our best of our abilities. I lost my eye in a shooting accident when I was 10 years old, so I've only ever known playing snooker with using one eye. Joe Davis could, was virtually blind in one eye and he was obviously world champion for 18 years. I don't really see it as a disability, if I'm honest. It's fine, yeah, it's fine playing with when you do. I've played, I played most of my life. I've been playing for the snooker team for oh, over 45 years and playing against the even people. I really enjoy it. Deaf people can participate in any um, hearing league, not just the deaf league can participate in any because it's it's open for anybody like this one, uh, that those sneaker with disabilities. Like it, the name suggests, it's open for anybody. Slightly longer term, we want to go abroad because our long term aspiration is to get snooker back in the Paralympics. And in order to do that, we've got to get another 11 countries involved. So there's a long road we're going to go down, but hopefully at the end, we can get snooker back into the Paralympics. <laughs> 